Oh, it's good to be here. And it's unbelievable that I'm here on behalf, uh, you know, of the sponsor, Walmart. When they called and told me, they asked me to be the speaker, I said, sure. And they said, well, Walmart want to sponsor you and sponsor the program. I said, what is Walmart? What would Walmart be doing at the National Society of Black Engineers? I don't need any underwear or anything. I showed my ignorance. And I had the opportunity to go up and visit Walmart in Bentonville, Arkansas, and I spent two days, and it was absolutely unbelievable because a lot of times when we think about Walmart, the only thing we see is that big super center, or we see the Sam Center. But I had an opportunity to see the guts of Walmart to see what makes it ticks. And the bottom line about Walmart is that they showed me my ignorance, and I'm a better person for it, and the thing about it, Walmart put the whole definition of engineering into perspective for me. And I've been an engineer like 20 years. John Quincy Adams, when he asked, why must you study war and politics? He said, I must study war and politics such that my children can study science, math, engineering, technology, naval architecture, medicine, such that their children can study art, history, and culture. President Hoover. He said the, the engineer got a great liability because the engineer has to do his work out in the open where everyone can see it. He said, see, the engineer is not like the doctor that can bury his mistake. He said, the engineer is not like the lawyer that can try to argue his mistake away or blame it on the judge. He said, the engineer is not like the architect who can try to hide his mistake behind trees and shrubbery. He said, the engineer is unlike the politician who otherwise may blame it on, try to blame it on his opponent across the aisle and hope the people forget. He said the engineer work is out in the public for people to see. And when an engineer makes a mistake, he is damned because the world is there to see it. An engineer cannot deny what he did. And I went to Walmart, and what I saw was a corporation they got 8,400 stores worldwide, 4,300 stores in America, 2.2 million associates across this country, I mean across this world, 1.4 associates right here in the United States, service 200 million people a week, have 100,000 suppliers, 55 brands, and 15 nations, and one mission. It was started from one mission, to build a system to uh, to increase the e effectiveness and efficiency of buying, distributing, and selling products such that people can save money and live better. One man, one mission. But it could not come true unless he had engineers on his team. You see, a scientist tell you what is and what isn't. A scientist go find a leaf and study it and tell you what type of leaf it is. But an engineer create that would never existed before. That's who we are. And when we begin to understand that, then you begin to understand the Walmart story, how you can go from 1962 from one store to over 8,400 stores worldwide. Just like in 1975 when the Chicago Six had six people in one mission, and now they've gone from six people to 35,000 across this country. It is the engineer. If you got 100,000 in a supply, 100,000 people in your supply chain, if you're serving 200 million people a week, do you understand the number of industrial engineers that's needed to design such a process and implement such logistics? Do you understand the work necessary for a mechanical engineer to build such a system such that the logistics for the industrial engineer can be carried out? Do you understand the power that's necessary to run such an organization such that we need electrical engineers? Imagine a computer scientist and a computer engineer and the information technologist that's needed such that they can understand what product is here and not there and what stores need to be plenished every day. I got one question. Have you ever been in Walmart and didn't find something you needed? <laughs> day in and day out, products are going in and they're going out. That's an unbelievable system. Imagine the amount of environmental, imagine the amount of civil engineers needed such that they could create such an infrastructure such that this thing could be sustainable year after year after year. 
And imagine the amount of environmental engineers needed such that such an organization can have a footprint not only in this country but in the world, but meet all of the federal EPA standards such that they operate within the law and also create a system such that it does not damage the earth, but create a robust, sustainable system that actually replenishes the earth. That's Walmart. And I never thought an engineer can go to Walmart and do something like that. Because see, sometimes we're just ignorant. And I was born and raised. Don't get, don't get upset when people call you ignorant. Ignorant means you just don't know. Stupid means there's no hope for you. <laughs> I'm not ignorant anymore. I went to Walmart last week. I was just walking in the stores, checking out the tracking system on the products. And I said, look, I wonder how they did that. I can never look at it the same. And Walmart is here tonight because they don't want you to ever look at them the same. You ask the people at Walmart, what you all doing? They say, winning. <laughs>